Look at her happy little tail. And Beverly's ears are still straight up. So they're not back. She's not in mean mode. Oh, now she is, though. Okay. You provoke the demon. No, no, no. So Beverly is doing her normal morning stretch and roll and get some dirt on her. Keep the bugs off for today. <laughs> Christmas thinks this is the greatest game on earth. Christmas <laughs> does not understand <laughs> that this is what a donkey does and she's not trying to play. She sure thinks that she is though. And Beverly's like, look. It's part of my morning. It's what I have to do. And Chris was like, well, why? Why? <laughs> Poor Bev. And Christmas does not. <laughs> She's trying to play with her. She is not being mean. She's not trying to nip at her heels to provoke her to be mean or to, to be mean to her at all. Christmas thinks that Beverly is playing. And they do play together all the time. This is just the first time that Christmas has seen Beverly get down and roll. And... Christmas is like, oh, we're playing that game because that's what her and Millie do. So Christmas doesn't realize that she's a donkey and not a dog. But look at her happy little tail and Beverly's ears are still straight up. So they're not back. She's not in mean mode. Oh, now she is though. Okay. You provoke the demon. No, 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 no. No, I have a rake in my hand because I'm cleaning out the stalls. Run, Christmas, run! Beverly has the devil in her. You should know that by now. Poor Dixie. She's like, this is just, this is too much for me. I know, I know. Christmas, stop it. Now you are taunting her. <laughs> She's giving her a little sniffy. I know, there's going to be people that are all over in the comments like, why would you let that dog in there if she's going to do this, if she's going to be at risk of getting hurt? You can see that her tail is up and that this is a fun game that they're playing together. And that Beverly's not really out to hurt her, she's out to play just as much as Christmas is. Yeah, this is what Sunday mornings look like. And look at all these guys looking on over here like, what in the world is happening? Well, hello, Leonard. Good to see you. Dixie is uh, a little perturbed because we're not going out today. I feel like she got an extra few minutes yesterday and I just think she needs a rest today. It's a pretty chilly day, so I know her, bo her bones and joints are a little achier than normal. And I can tell by the way that her eyes look and by the way that she's not, <clears throat> not as perky as she is on some days. It's pretty chilly. Last night got down to 35 here, and I didn't blanket her. Um, she's still got quite a bit of winter coat. Tonight's going to be 32, and depending upon how she's doing today, I may put one of the light blankets on her, which I've never done before. I've always just been winter blanket or no blanket, and I realized that I needed to step up my blanket selection. Christmas. <laughs> because of Dixie's condition and I needed to have just an array to be able to accommodate what's going on because we've always done if it's freezing or below to put a blanket on her well the freezing actually doesn't happen till tomorrow morning at 7 a.m which is already daylight and it only happens for one hour so it doesn't make sense while it's 50 degrees to have this big winter coat on all night long and make her sweat it'll actually be worse for her um, so what I am doing is fluffing up the hay in their stall, putting more hay in. So if she gets cold enough, she can lay down, which she was doing this morning. Um, it's not a colic lay down. It's a restful lay down. She's not rolling or things like that. I know. Beautiful. I know. Hi, sweet. I know, baby. I know. We have good days and bad days. And something that the vet told me is you, you embrace those good days. You take them for everything that they are. You let her have a little bit of walk time. And you don't wear her out. You don't let it become to where the day after that is a wear down day. Oh boy. <laughs> but <laughs> do you see that's happening over there? 
Yeah, I know. But you spend time, and you show love, and you groom her more than you've ever groomed her, and you just take cues from her. And that's what we do, right, Dixie? It, um... I've seen her have some really wonderful days. And believe it or not, the temperature is a huge factor in it. On those days where it's cooler in the mornings and warm sunshine in the afternoon, I feel like her body responds the best. And, um... I feel like where it's a, a 60 degree night is where she probably gets the most rest and she's not too cold. She's not, you know, she's still cooling off, that type of thing. So she's getting plenty of water. She's taking her meds. She's getting the right foods. We just have good days and we just have bad days, just like the rest of us. And just like anybody with any medical condition, it's... Um, you take it in stride. And that's what we're going to do, right, baby? We're going to take it in stride. And uh, Beverly here, her little companion, is, of course, finding great companionship in Christmas. And it's given Dixie a break from Beverly's antics. Um, and sometimes Beverly goes out without Dixie. And she's worn out enough that she's okay with that. But, um... That's a good girl. You hear that cracking, that snap, crackle, and pop or her little arthritic joints. I know, love. I know. Dixie's really looking forward to some hot days coming up. Dixie loves a bath, and she really enjoys having the water hose sprayed on her joints and ankles. And um, <clears throat> similar to an ice bath for laminitis for feet, it, the cool water just reduces her swelling enough and it feels good for her. I can't do it when it's this cold. Um, oh boy. You see what they're doing, baby? I'm telling you, the fun doesn't end. <laughs> okay, Christmas. Hi, Bev. Are you ready to have a good day now? You ready to have a good day, Beverly? Now, Beverly needs to get dewormed. I dewormed Dixie the other day, but Beverly was not having it at all. And in order for Beverly to lose this winter coat, obviously the season has to change, but she has to be parasite free. That's a good indicator of if they have parasites or not, is if they're losing their winter coat on time. So we got to deworm Beverly, but I need Lester's help for that. And, um, He's a little busy at the moment. Stop. That is medicine in my pocket and it's not for you. <laughs> Bev, stop it, baby. I know, sweetie. You're so tired today. Hey, that's not yours. <laughs> you naughty little donkey. All right. Dixie, you get some rest today, okay? Get yourself in that sunshine. Stop it, Bev. I'm going to put it in my other pocket. I'm putting it in my other pocket, girls. I was, you've already had your medicine, my love. Yep. Get yourself in the sunshine. Get you a good nap. And then maybe take a couple laps in here. And maybe later on today, if I see how how you're feeling, maybe I'll put the halter on and we'll go walk around the yard a little bit. How do you feel about that? Pretty good? Okay. Listen, I love you both. Okay, I love you both so very much. I'm sorry that today's not a great day. Beverly's found someone else to mess with. And it, sadly, it might be me too. All right, baby. Go get some rest. Mama loves you. Beverly, stop it. Stop it.